place is huge. Look at another side here. Hey, look at the legs. I'm back <laughs> I'm here with part two of my hubby and I going to estate sales yard sales thrift store I think this footage is the second half of the thrift store actually uh, we were in La Grande Oregon and people helping people um, not people who need people <laughs> and this is the actually we found out from the woman when we were checking out she said this is the the main store the first store that opened so that's why it was better than our local one in Pendleton this store is just bigger has so much more items so many more items uh, more rooms just more things to look at and I do wish it was a little closer to us but the one we have is good too if you guys have a people helping people near you I recommend you check it out if you haven't already they are good stores and they have um, you know they're a good charity organization and you can get some good items for resale now the one in uh, Pendleton near us they do tend to um, hike up the items the price of the items depending on what it is you know they're trying to make a profit like every other store uh, so you really have to dig and you have to search they'll have the, the higher priced items and of the lower priced items and a lot of times on the lower priced items they have no idea what they have so um, it's just a hunt every time you go sourcing it's a hunt but it's the thrill of the hunt and it's so much fun if you're a reseller I mean you should love the sourcing that's it's it's it is a lot of fun now I'm, there's probably resellers out there who hire somebody to source for them but why <laughs> I love it I don't know why somebody would want to source that out but anyway um, wanted to bring something up that I put the values up in the screen of these items that I purchase and sometimes I get the value wrong because I looked it up on eBay but I didn't look up the correct one or something and so when I do further research when I make the video sometimes it comes at a different price but and sometimes I sell the item and it's for lower than I thought. I just sold that PowerPoint book that I bought at the state sale from like a month ago when John and I went, our local, it was in a building and um, only sold it for seven, but only paid a dollar. That's not a great profit. I obviously didn't expect to get that low of a profit thought I'd get more for it but that you know it happens and that's in reselling you got to take the good with the bad and sometimes you're gonna sell those lower priced items where you're not making much money if any money profit um, but then you've got the big home runs that make up for that so hopefully if you go sourcing you buy a lot of items maybe some of your items are gonna sell for a lower price point than you expected but when you have those big home runs, you get the $100 sale, $250, whatever, those will hopefully make up for the loss you took or the lower profit you had to take. those other items so we've been doing pretty well um, I have at least two sales a day it does it has slowed down a little bit but and the other day I had one sale but it was a $27 sale I sold a magazine rack within like two days <laughs> and I paid a dollar at a yard sale for that so that's pretty good I'll take that um, so just want to bring that up you guys I know you're seeing the 
I put up the values on the screen of, you know, I, I usually try to tell you what I paid for the item and what the item is listed for or what it's sold for. And I know it's not always high dollar items, but you know, the ones that sell for lower are my bread and butter. And that's what keeps my business running. So I wanted to bring that up. I hope you guys enjoy the second half of our thrifting in LeGrand. And the next video will be a shipping video and I've already filmed it. And I, I thought, you know, I would, I haven't talked about shipping in a while. And I'm sure those, there are those of you would like to, you know, get some tips and tricks on shipping so stay tuned for that I really hope you guys enjoy this um, if you have subscribed please subscribe I would really appreciate that like this video send me a comment all of that helps and I really appreciate it appreciate you have an awesome day see you next time bye okay this is a vintage cake holder don't think I'm going to pay $5 but because I don't want this perfect but it's cool, you don't want to call it. Oops. Oh, well that worked out my that must be the person who brought the cake. Let's open up some more it's, like, it's like glued shut. <laughs> oh well, I guess I don't need to know what's in it. Got talk talk talk, loud music, loud music. All you do is talk 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 talk. Talk, talk. Do you guys like, like that song, Talk, Talk? I do. I even like the remake with Gwen Stefani, no doubt. Laugh and laugh. Thought maybe it'd be live, love, and laugh. <laughs> Not for sure. Some of those things are good, but they know that, so they price it up five bucks. Alright, I think I have one more aisle. John's finding a lot of good stuff, so... This has been a good thrifting day for us. Yeah, I try to think about things down when I get them. I found a couple of things I knew would sell, but I have to ship them in a box. They take up room. I just try and think of that stuff more. But I didn't used to do that. Ooh, look at guys. Vintage Disney Tinkerbell. Oh my goodness. Only a dollar. Look at that. I don't think I need to lift that up. It's rusted, but it's not that bad. John, look at this. Oh, I didn't have a handle on it. Oh, it still might sell. We should look it up. That's why I didn't look it up. It doesn't have a handle. Well, somebody may not care about that. Kitty hey. litter. This is pretty milk glass. I like it. Don't want to sell it. I want to look this up. John's right. It's lounge fly with this. Thing, so it's not that old. I'm gonna get it because I mean, some of the lounge fly stuff could sell for quite a bit. And somebody may not care that it's rusted and doesn't have a handle. They just want to display it on the shelf. They're not gonna actually use it. So there's a case where I don't mind that looks like something from TJ Maxx, where I don't mind um, purchasing that and listing it. Hobby Lobby, okay. It's cute. I used to do Paris decor, but don't have the room. I looked inside as I always do. It's really cute. I wonder if I should just get it because I like it. I don't really have a need for it though. It's just going to sit in my basement. Well, I'm not going to. I'm going to be good. I love cylinder things like this. Oh, it's um, it's a shade. I believe it's a candle shade. Ooh, old camera. Oh my gosh, this could be a good one. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look. I wonder what they're pricing it out. I think I can get this. I was wrong. These are not worth much. So back it goes. Some vintage cameras are there. Talk, 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 talk. Because the music is loud. That's beautiful. Um, so can you guys see the mark? I love that. I don't know what that mark is though. I'm gonna have to look it up. Did you guys look at this? Isn't that cute? Never seen anything like that. My husband looked at it up. He said it's not worth that much. I kind of want it though. It's really fun. Look at that. 
Chow, chow. All right, like this song, but can't be playing it for you guys. Copyright strike. This place is huge. I got another side here. Hey, look at the legs. Done, but I'm not. John on the other section looking at stuff. He found some good stuff. I'll have to do a haul for you guys later. Two dollars for it. Could be a good deal. Well, oh, it's why this keyboard. Oh, I see. It's just the keyboard. It's the key was a laptop. Try and stay away from electronics. Ooh, look how fun that is. I wonder if I got that at. Okay, at least we're farther away from the music. Don't have to talk as much. Oh, look how cute. Fat cat is my name. Eating is my name. <laughs> oh, you are a cool cat. Look at you. Sorry, fat cat. I gotta put you back. Whoops. I didn't mean to break you. Oh, how sweet is that? Kissing on his sister. Trying not to sing these songs that are in the background. Oh, that'd be a great baby gift if it's it needs a little cleaning up. But... Oh, these are cool. Are they curtains? Oh, they're like kitchen curtains, which. Oh, no, they're valances. I like having kitchen curtains. I do have kitchen curtains. They're pineapples I got from eBay, and I really like them. I don't think I ever filmed them, though. I need to do that one of these days. I always look at blankets. Don't like listing them, but I always look at them. <laughs> don't know what that's about. Oh, look at the Santa Claus. Yeah, let's zoom that in. <laughs> okay then. You never know what you're gonna find at thrift store. That's why it's so fun. Some dollars, good price for that. Don't really need drapes. Oh, oh! I actually wanted to find a pillow champ. I use a pillow to sit out in the living room for my, this is adorable, for my back. And I just have like a pillowcase on it. But it would be nice to have a pillow champ. It looks nicer on the, f you know, couch. And I also had to buy a lumbar support pillow. I bought one for the bedroom. I gotta get one for the oh, living room out oh, here. And I promise, guys, I'm gonna talk louder from now on. I'm surprised nobody's complained about that. Ooh, I kinda like that one. That's too cool. I've just always loved ballerina stuff. That looks, that's a weird shape, though. That's not for a regular pillow, so it's not happening. Look how they have finials at the end. That's kind of cool. Oh, I love orange. I'm an orange girl. Okay, hey, these are pillow covers. If I wanted to sell them, I could, but I really don't want to. You know, this is for people to put those pillow inserts or a regular pillow in and you could decorate for the holidays. Oh, these are old. Like, I've, I've done embroidery before. My grandma taught me how to do it when I was young. I used to embroider things like that. I'd put it in a hoop, and me and my sister would embroider. It's really kind of fun, actually. But I've not done it since I was a little girl. Have you guys ever embroidered? Put it in the comments. Oh, different, okay. For a bride, I guess. Okay. 
I don't know if this is going to be very exciting for the video. Not that but same blanket. What's this? Some kind of cartoon character. Do you know who that is just from that? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> nice. Eight dollars? No. I do like selling sealed things like this better. Follow your heart. Again, they should be on our table. Not somewhere we're supposed to do. Got out of there for only forty-four dollars. I had to put my hair back. It was so hard. With, they gave <laughs> us a, a discount, senior discount. Plus, I start a new job on Monday, and I got four pairs, no, five pairs of slacks, and five nice business shirts for a total of ten dollars. Yep. I yeah, we got, we got. I bought a. I needed a see black this belt. stuff in the back here. Got my belt for 50 cents, a brand new belt, Cindy, for 50 cents. Wow, that's awesome. And I bought that toad at the first place we went to, and we have it filled. Oh no, we got it at a grad sale. So I could fill it up. So we are set as far as thrifting, and we are gonna go eat now. Yeah, Let's go. off to the bench warmer, pub and grill. Oh, what, if that's this is um, the second oldest bar in the state. Historic downtown. We have one of those. <laughs> there it is. Heading in. Oh, that's nice. Looks yummy.